I have my two trays of sweet potatoes here and I am getting ready to cut off the slips and get them rooted. This is our sweet potato slip experiment and so far it is doing awesome. We are trying to grow some sweet potatoes this year for the first time. We are in Montana in zone four and we want to figure out if we can grow sweet potatoes here. Growing sweet potatoes is different than growing regular potatoes. You don't just put a potato, a sweet potato in the ground with an eye and let it root and grow. It's different. You have to make sweet potato slips and this is the way to do them. To start these off, well, I purchased them from an organic grocery store back in January. When I purchased them, I put them in the basement in a cool, dry place. Then February 18th is when we put these in soil. Today is April 10th, so it's taken that long for them to get to this point. When we decided to start making the sweet potato slips, we got these tin trays that were recycled that we probably weren't going to use again. Some of them had holes, so this is a great way to use them. We poked a couple more holes in the bottom of the tray that the soil's in, and then we set them in another tray to hold up any water. We put potting soil in there, put the sweet potatoes halfway in the potting soil, watered everything, and let them sit. We did let them sit in indirect sunlight and on a heat mat. I'll show a heat mat here. This was a really important step because I've heard sweet potatoes really like warmth. To identify the variety names, I did a little research. They had about five different varieties of sweet potatoes at the store, and I did my best judgment to hopefully have correctly identified them. I did use their labels, and I realized that that might be wrong, but what I came up with was that these are garnet red over here. Uh, we have some red Japanese, and then Jersey yellow are over there on the far side. And I decided to go with these varieties over the other options at the store because the red Japanese variety is a 95 day, the Jersey yellow is a 100 day, and the garnet sweet is a 110 day. And being that we're in zone four, we need the shortest days possible to try this experiment to hopefully grow some sweet potatoes this year. Today our plan is to get these sweet potato vines to root in soil, and I'm hoping to root them in soil rather than in water to kind of skip a step. We are going to be dividing them at the nodes. Each one of these is kind of like a little node, which we'll show you in a minute. And putting them directly in soil in a seed starting tray, putting them back in indirect sunlight and watering them and allowing them to root. As far as watering goes, so far what I've noticed is these things really seem to like water and I couldn't seem to overwater them. So when in doubt, water. The first thing that I'm gonna do is get our 72 cell seed starting tray pre-moistened. We are all set. I have three big jars out here with water, big glasses out here with water, all set up. And I did include the variety name on there as well as the date and the fact that this is when I am cutting the slips. I'm just gonna get busy cutting the slips. I'm going to start with this first potato. I marked the trays so that, as you can see, I'm going to start with the Jersey Yellow. Those are these two right here. Uh, the, the Red Japanese is in, one's in this pan and one's in the other pan. So when we cut these slips, well, I'm just going to take a big section here. I feel kind of guilty cutting them, but this is what we're going to do. Here's one of the slips. That little node if we put that in water, that should root. So we are going to cut up right above it. We're gonna make a couple of different plants here. So I cut up above this one and just continue on down the plant like that. You can almost kind of see there are some baby roots starting right there. That's pretty cool. And immediately when I cut them, I'm going to set them in water. These were the Jersey Yellow. I do not want to get the names mixed up. In a minute, they're going to go in our seed starting tray, but I don't want them to dry out between now and then. Here's a 
close-up of one of those sweet potato slips and I wanted to show just how I cut them. You can see right there, there are some little roots that will start to grow right there. So how I went about cutting these was pretty vigorously actually. I just kind of cut it up there and then this is the part right here that I would plant. And I did soak them in water when I was going through a big batch and I just kind of pushed it in like that and that is all of it. So as you can see, this one uh, plant right here has so many different slips on it. Look at all those. Each one of these is its own little plant. As another fun little experiment, I am going to save some in water to try to root directly in water and we'll see how they grow compared to the tray. It has been seven days and our sweet potato slip experiment is going amazing. I mean, look at all of these sweet potato slips. They have all lived from the ones we transplanted and they have a ton of roots growing inside of the soil. If I pull one of these trays up, you can see just how many roots are popping out of the bottom. If I pull one of these out here, you can see just how great they're doing. Look at all that. It is a success for sure. And the slips that we rooted inside of the water, look how awesome they're doing. They've just been on the windowsill in indirect sunlight and they are thriving in the water. So this is great news. The experiment worked. We made our own sweet potato slips from sweet potatoes we bought at the store. A Little bit of a downside here is that it is April 17th. We plan to plant our garden that first week of June or the last week of May. However, sweet potatoes really need a warm climate. So we will probably hold off on planting these until maybe the second week of June. With that said, these are really just going crazy, rooting and growing. And by the time we get to the middle of June, these particular plants might just be way too far gone. But the great news is, is that now I know it took me seven days to get them to this point. I can just root some more. These are the plants that I started out with and they're just making more slips. So in all it was a success and that's how we rooted our sweet potato slips. Thank you so much for watching. If you like content like this please consider liking this video and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.